Also, all you kids in the crowd tonight, please stay on Santa's nice list and do not try anything you see here tonight at home on your friends and loved ones because what you are going to see here tonight is being done by trained professionals. They've worked very hard to get where they are tonight. Having said that, are you guys ready? Come on now, Elizabeth. I know you can do better than that. Are you ready for IWC's winner take? Come on now, let me hear you. It is the final show of 2012. As we get ready. You better watch out, you better not cry. Better not doubt, I'm telling you why. Santa Claus is coming to town. He's making a list, I'm checking it twice. Ladies and Gentlemen, I, here at Winner Takes All, we have a very special guest. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Santa Claus. Elizabeth, Pennsylvania, please welcome Santa Claus. Now, Santa, I, I see here you've given me your naughty and nice list. Your haughty and nice list. And I'm assuming you have some gifts for those people on the nice list but not the naughty list? Is that, is that how this works? Well, I see here on the nice list, Braden O'Brien. Braden O'Brien, are you here? We are still dark, if you're curious. Braden O'Brien? Bra all, right, all right, over here, Santa, right over here. Braden O'Brien was on the nice list. Mike Rain? Is Mike Rain on the nice list? I think he's getting ready for his match backstage, Santa. What about Lucas Gross? Where's Lucas Gross? Lucas Gross, right over here, Santa. Right here. Lucas Gross is on the nice list. Matt Sagaris made the nice list? All right, Santa. Uh, Matt Sagaris apparently on the nice list. So everybody here on the nice list, you have something for, for Christmas, right? Well, I also see in the, there's a naughty column here. So, do you have something on the haughty list for, I don't know, the founding fathers? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no. Nothing for the founding fathers. Okay. How about Aiden Vale? Is there something, something in the Santa's bag for Aiden Vale? I, I believe he's backstage, too, so we're going to have a lot of gifts to give what about, oh, uh, I don't know. So what you're saying is, 
Ain't nothing in that sack for me. No. Oh, no. Hold on a minute, Santa, if that's your real name. Are you set? You better look. There's nothing in that bag for me. Well, I think I might have some balls. Oh! Now you can start the show. Introducing first, representing Team Big Leagues, he weighs in at 207 pounds, wrestling out of Saratoga Springs, New York, he is the Round Eye Samurai, Bobby Fish! What a night Bobby Fish had, Jay Worth, as we come to you from the Court Time Sports Center in Elizabeth, Pennsylvania, here in December 2012 for IWC. Winner take all, and uh, if you're watching this particular piece of footage, congratulations uh, for this special home video exclusive. But Bobby Fish had a big night about a month ago at our Clearfield event, Combat in Clearfield 4, I believe. Bobby Fish came really close to capturing the IWC title from Logan Shulo. Close, yeah, Ringside, I am Joe Dombrowski with Jay Woodland and Farnsworth, ready to call four-way action. Introducing combatant number two, he weighs in at 210 pounds, wrestling out of Cleveland, Ohio, he is the bee's knees, the cat's pajamas, the whole shebang, Johnny Gargano! You know this guy? Yeah, met him once or twice, Johnny Gargano, Primarily competing out of the Dragon Gate USA promotion these days, where he has been, been the reigning champion in that organization for over a year. Certainly still competes extensively around his home base of Cleveland, Ohio, and throughout the world as well. Gargano spent a number of weeks in the month of October touring Japan with the Japanese contingent of Dragon Gate. What do they call the Japanese contingent of Dragon Gate? Dragon Gate. Makes sense. Differentiating Dragon Gate from Dragon Gate USA. Gotcha, gotcha. Gargano has not been in IWC in over a year, I do believe. Homecoming for him. Gargano won the tag title for the first night here. number three. He weighs in at 210 pounds. Wrestling out of Long Island, New York. He is the premier athlete, Tony Nice. Anthony Nice before here in uh, IWC Wrestling. Perhaps best known for a stint in Impact Wrestling, where he had a memorable series with Zima Ion. Uh, nice is a very well put together athlete. He's a power lifter, a bodybuilder. He uh, certainly puts physical conditioning second to none. And for a man of his stature, of his musculature, he can move around the ring uh, with such ease and grace. Yeah, yeah. For uh, for the size that he is, he, he has quickness like I haven't seen any place else. Really a grudge. Just, just put himself together very well. It's come and has come so far since the first time we saw him. He really has sort of it's gelled. It's coalesced. He he, he just keeps getting better. Now a special uh, an advertisement. Now let us find out our surprise fourth entrant. Replacing Sammy Callahan, who was inserted into the main event after the injury to Facade. Who do we have here? Oh, whoa! I didn't expect this one. No, no. I, you want to talk about homecoming, Jay Worth? Uh, born and bred, raised right here in IWC, trained right here in IWC. Learned the game here in IWC. Your fourth combatant, 
He weighs in at 180 pounds. Wrestling out of the Philippines. He is a former Impact Wrestling X Division Champion. IWC Zone. Zima. Zima has made waves the world over as part of TNA Impact Wrestling. Reigned as X Division Champion for a period of some three odd months before being dethroned by Rob Van Dam on the biggest pay-per-view of the year for TNA Wrestling, Bound for Glory for Phoenix. But now Zima sets his sights on a championship he's all too familiar with, the Super Indy title that he once coveted so dearly. That's very true. You can't think about that right now. He has three incredible competitors in the ring to think about. And at least two of them, he has a uh, a rich history with. All right, before this starts, I demand to know where did the other half of his pants go? It's a fair question, and I think he should answer it. Can we get a mic up there? We're not gonna take time on that. Uh, I, I've had the pleasure of seeing Zima Ion and Johnny Gargano compete before. Uh, we've documented the Zima niece history. Uh, Bobby Fish, a bit of a wild card. Fish calls himself, quite controversially, the Round Eye Samurai. Recently been seen as a member of Team Big League. Mentioned uh, almost won the IWC Championship from Logan Shulo. Fish also uh, recently debuting in Ring of Honor, where he's uh, struck up a partnership with Kyle O'Reilly. Someone on, well, not on the Christmas card list of many of the IWC fans, but oh, yeah, very true. be that as it may, Fish also uh, very, very prominent in the pro wrestling NOAA promotion in Japan. I was going to say, uh, I believe Fish has, wor has, uh, has worked with the great Muda. That's right. Uh, and uh, so is Anthony Nice. That Anthony we, we talked about last time he was in here. Nice was uh, in a tag team matchup teaming with Sammy Callahan against Muda and Kai uh, earlier this year. So, uh, certainly all these men well versed in the Japanese style for the travel. Yeah, very true. Zima and Gargano, this... You heard uh, Zima Ion, not just effing pretty, he's pretty effing dangerous, and a dangerous takeover to Gargano. Farnsworth, mark my words, this altercation will main event a major pay-per-view within the next three years. Your words are marked. But it's a rarity you see, uh, you see Zima back away from the, the fast stuff. Well, normally, normally he is he is fine with a quickened hmm. pace. There he sort of slowed it down a little. I maybe mean, trying to play to play to the weaknesses of Johnny Gargano there. You notice Fish and Nice didn't give him a choice but to back down. Yep. They wanted to get involved because if you're if you don't play, you don't get paid. Meaning if you do not score the winning pinfall, you're not getting a future Super Indy title opportunity. Yeah, very true. And keep in mind that championship is vacant right now. We won't know who the defending champion is till the conclusion of our main event because it's title for title, Logan Shulo against Sammy Callahan, the surrogate for Facade because uh, he was the uh, last defending champion before Facade captured the title. Huh. That's uh, the, yeah, that remains to be seen so far. Oh! Facade gotta be so heartbroken so despondent in the back earlier on because he could not compete tonight in the main event and defend that championship he worked his entire career to gain. Your heart has to go out to facade very quickly before we get back to action here. Yeah, you could just, like, I spoke to him in the back and you could just tell. He was just, there just, there was something off. It, it, you could tell it was bugging him. You know, we're talking about a person who loves it, the, to compete. Loves to show, oh! Huge T-bone style suplex by Fish. Loves to show everyone that he deserves that title and that he deserves to be in in out of a main event match like him versus Logan Shulo. And that would have torn this house down. We've seen him and Shulo, uh, even though they don't physically match up uh, uh, really well, but uh, such an evenly matched contest every time we've seen them in the ring together, including the draws they've had. Yeah, very, very true. And check this out right now. Gargano being isolated by Fish and Nice. I wouldn't trust anybody in Team Big League who apparently have added James Nutter and Joseph Brooks to their camp after what McChesney said earlier. 
Do we have a Do we have a full roster on Team Big League right now? Do we know? We don't because it, it keeps changing with the wind. Back and forth, we've seen him utilize a number of individuals and kick them into the curb when they're not of use to him anymore. Which, if you think about it, is incredibly smart. You're not going to be able to develop a game plan. You're not going to be able to formulate a strategy if well, you keep changing the, the pieces. Covering the ring by Nice, but Fish interrupts. And there you see where the allegiance is stopped. Only one man can move on, and really, I'd love to see any of these four men in contention. Gargano now essentially battling two on one. Keep in mind Gargano, a former Super Indy champion in his own right. Zima can't seem to get back into the ring, much less into the match at this point. Oh, he barely keep himself in the building. Nice tried to sneak in a cover on Gargano, but that resiliency of Gargano, man, you gotta kill him to pin him. Fish and Nice still barking out orders at one another. Before, uh, they're clearly on a, uh, sort of on the same page, uh, working together here, and also smartly keeping Zima out of it. Well, this tells me that they see Gargano as the predominant threat to win this, which I would not necessarily disagree with. Well, see, I would say they view uh, Zima as the predominant threat because they Wait, don't let him up. in the match. Quick roll up. No. Five minutes gone by in this contest. Five minutes. I think the Nice and Fish think, the, and rightfully so, there's a little bit of respect factor between Zima and Gargano. So it's like a divide and conquer type of deal. Yeah, very true. I agree with you, which is kind of weird. Well, I don't feel any better about it either, but it's smart strategy. Oh! Fish and Nice colliding. And Gargano gets two for the price of one. And look at this, Zima making his way up top. Zima Ion going high risk. The mark of the X Division that Zima's fought in so proudly. Double drop kick. Zima been competing with the likes of Kenny King, Kit Cash in recent times. These guys are right up that alley. Series of atomic drops. Yeah, Zima finally back in the ring. Finally able to, oh, get a boot. He's been waiting for this for several minutes. Corkscrew into the cross body. Could have him here. No. The dangers of a one fall four way. You have to neutralize two other guys before you even pin the one you're trying to. Yeah, it's a... Uh... It's a whole different set of rules. You have to have a whole, a completely different strategy on this than any other type of match. That's why wearing all of your opponents down is so pivotal, so key. You need high impact offense. You need high octane. You need to go above and beyond. And Zima gets two for the price of one. Nice and Fish to the outside. And now Gargano in the corner and up. And now we're back to essentially where we started. Zima not wasting any time on it. Mid-ring adjustment by Gargano. Zima responds in kind, wrestling and counter-wrestling. And Fish ends up on the receiving end. Oh! Super kicks, clotheslines, and back to a stalemate. Oh, no, my. No clear-cut advantage. Oh, oh, oh! Look out! Nice! Gonna steal a cover! No! Oh, excuse me, that's Fish, I believe. Action so fast, he can't even keep up with it. Yeah, that is Fish. It might not be for long if this match keeps up because Gargano may kick his face off. Oh! Case in point. And to the outside on Nice. And Fish meets the same fate. Gargano is on a roll. And now Zima, oh! Oh, Zima caught his opening, caught Gargano coming back in. High risk by Zima to the outside. Almost cleared the rail. And he lands on his feet. Look at that. Zima bringing so much energy, so much firepower. Maybe the next Super Indy top contender. Wait, watch what this! Almost a Fosbury flop over that, over that top rope. And carrying that kind of body weight. I've never seen anything like that.
Well, Zima recovers. Obviously got the least of that impact. That DDT springboard off the bottom rope. Zima likes got countered. Nice roller. Oh my God. Oh, that rips it into the corner with a buckle bomb. And then just diving knees into the corner. That could be it. That's scary power. Gotta know. Someone, Gargano's trying to get in. But if someone doesn't get in quick, this could be over. Gargano likes to spring in with a spear here. Nice wouldn't let him in that exchange, so Gargano went up and over. DDT, cover and no. And now, into the, the Gargano escape. <laughs> well, there's one way out. And Bobby Fish hit him in the hit you in the back of the head. Yeah, Bobby Fish just found an escape. Because Fish knew if there was a tap out, this match would be over and oh. Fish's shot would be done. Now Fish with a cover, Zima interrupts. I think we're getting near kill time, Jay Worth. These guys, what? There's a hostile makeover from Zima. Oh! And Nice with a thrust kick. And Nice. Oh! Just picked up Zima Scrap! Here is your winner, and now the number one contender to the Super Indie title, Tony Nice. You gotta take advantage when you have the opportunity. Tony Nice, uh, he's every bit as good as all three guys, but he had the opportunity and he took it. That's what got him this win. Hey, no complaints for me, all four guys busted their rear end and gave us a hell of a four-way matchup here in this contest. Tony Nice is the top contender. Tony Nice will have a super indie title shot in the very, very near future.